The Messenger of Allah knew. He didn't say to Sahaba, do him over. Prophet knew that there was temptations out there. So the Prophet called him towards him. The Messenger of Allah said, whoever guarantees me two things, you guarantee me two things and I will guarantee you Jannah. The average male in this society has slept with approximately nine women. The average woman, over six men. It's an, and then to remain chaste is wallahi a ni'mah and a favor from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To remain chaste. With all this social media, her eyes out of the window. You, you watch something on YouTube and you have something on the side and you have lewd pictures on the side, lewd adverts. And from a small age, our children are unfortunately exposed to this. May Allah safeguard them all. Because it are difficult times. And there is temptations. Let's not deny the fact the greatest temptation people have generally is mal and the opposite sex. This is the ma major test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Even in the time of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, look at this. The, the, it was outlawed, fornication, adultery. Even then, a young man comes to the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And he says, oh message of Allah, grant me the permission to fornicate. Imagine this, the Sahaba are enraged. They want to get up and beat him. And the Prophet told him to sit down. And he says to this young man, he says, Oh my son, minni. come closer to me. This young man wants to commit most, one of the most vile acts there is. And the message of Allah is saying, come close to me. The most purest of beings, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So he comes close to the Prophet and then the message of Allah says to him, he said, oh my son, let me ask you a question. Would you like somebody to fornicate with your mother? He said, may I be sacrificed for your message of Allah? Nobody would like that. He said, would you like somebody to fornicate with your sister, your daughter? He said, oh message of Allah, nobody would like that. The Prophet wasallam said, would you like somebody to fornicate with your auntie, your maternal auntie, your paternal auntie? He said, nobody would like that, O Messenger of Allah. So the Prophet wasallam said, oh my son, whoever you're going to fornicate is going to be somebody's mother, sister, daughter, auntie. And then the Prophet wasallam said, brought him closer and the Prophet sallallahu placed his hand on his chest he said oh Allah forgive him and purify his heart the young man left that company of the Prophet sallallahu and he said there was nothing nothing more despised in my eyes after that day than fornicating but you look at the, the message of Allah knew he didn't say to Sahaba do him over the Prophet sallallahu knew that there was temptations out there so the Prophet wasallam called him towards him. The message of Allah said, Whoever guarantees me two things, you guarantee me two things and I will guarantee you Jannah. Two things you guarantee me and I will guarantee you Jannah. You control that which is between your jaws. You control this. You control your tongue. And you control that which is between your thighs and I will guarantee you Jannah. But if you don't, the Prophet ﷺ said, the greatest sin, listen to this, the greatest sin after shirk is that a man places his seed in a place that he shouldn't. After shirk, the greatest sin that a man places his seed in a place that he shouldn't. And this is why, you know, we make dua that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. 
but especially our youth. Our girls, our boys, that Allah keep them chaste. 